and I was inspired by Gorin and like other people who I just saw like doing it. And that's like the main thing that I wanted to come back to is like to this idea of like just doing it and like putting yourself out there. Um, I was super nervous like to get paid 500 for a video, you know, and then they were like saying, oh, sorry, the rate is so low. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> like you're going to pay me 500 for a video. That's like, I'm going to shoot it and edit it and like, whatever, like, sure. Like, you know, I felt like this was expanding my opportunity to make money and it was another way. It's another hustle for me, you know? And then a couple of videos later, I shot something for 2000, you know? And I was like, whoa, like this is growth. And like, had I not taken the first video, first of all, had I not like bought the camera or, or actually started shooting on my old camera with the new gimbal that I bought, picked a friend of mine who was like a, you know, Instagram influencer, started making little fashion videos for her, put a little portfolio together, then catch the attention of somebody, meet this other video person who referred me to this gig, do that for like a little pay, then led to the next thing that paid me 2000. Now I'm being flown to Miami. And this is all within like a six month period. And it was because I started and I had people in my corner saying to just pick up pick up the camera and just like shoot stuff and like go do it. So th yeah, I mean, my, I guess, yeah, my point is like, like starting the process and, and, and then feeling like, Oh my God, like I can go and, and shoot and direct. And this can, this can open doors for me or create shortcuts for me in ways that I hadn't imagined because I can be an AC and just AC and just be the AC, or I can take the skills that I've learned and create my own work. And then, somebody sees that and goes, whoa, 